Call down, signal up is a saying that comes up frequently in the Godot community. Let's make a quick scene to show exactly what it means. First of all, add a base node as the root, and we'll call it container. A button as a child, and finally a color rect. Change the layout of the color rect to full rect, and change its color to blue the button we're going to center it make it a bit larger and that's it maybe a bit bigger save the scene okay so what we want to accomplish is to change the color of the color rect every time that we press the button so to do that we'll create a script in the container call it container and we'll get the reference to the background forgot to change color rect name to background Go back to script okay so to implement the button changing the color of the background we could write a method or a statement inside the process function to check if the button has been pressed but I think this would be a bit of an overkill because we would have to be checking every single frame if the player has pressed the button. Instead of that, what we'll do is go over to the button, to the node tab, press on the pressed signal, connect it to the container, and this method is going to be called every time that the button is pressed. It's going to be signaling up to the parent, to the container, that the button has been pressed. So inside of here, we could access the background specifically the color of the background and change it to color yellow which is 1101 play the scene and there we go when we press the button the color of the background changes so in this in this system what we're doing is calling down from the parent since we are changing the color of a child by using a button which is signaling up every time that the button is pressed. And this is a very common pattern in Godot. We try to signal up from children and call down from the parent. It helps us isolate components and reuse them without having to worry about hierarchy dependencies in a scene tree.